Hi everyone, and thank you very much for joining me. Um, if you've been with me through the past few videos, you'll know that we went through and figured out how to get the store pickup all configured for this site, Vegan's Critters. Uh, today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to get the delivery set up. So again, if you're a store that offers local delivery and you're using the Zapier app, this is how we're going to get delivery configured for your store. So I'm going to log in here, and I'm going to start with the settings section and go to deliveries. And we see that deliveries are enabled, yes. And we see that if order price is more than $49, then enable deliveries. Now, there's many stores that want to have a minimum threshold for delivery and say that they're not willing to deliver unless their order matches a certain criteria. So that's where it's important to put in that criteria. And you'll see here my order is only $10. My only option is store pickup. Another note to make here is this is $49 we see written there. And there's a little note here saying that there should always be trailing zeros. And that's because this app handles multiple currencies. So if I was to put in 49, it would read this as 49 cents. So it's important to always include those other zeros and check the fine print or alerts that are involved in the apps so we know exactly what we're doing. So what I'm going to do is select for a customer who's within a set radius to be eligible for delivery first. So I'm just going to say within a set radius, and I'll have the option to select that radius in a minute. But what I'm going to do is, is uh, first turn off the date picker and turn off the time picker. For, for most of our stores, they don't want to set specific times and dates. They want to allow the store to order for delivery and then deliver those orders on a, on a date that works best. So I'm going to shut those off because we actually haven't used those for most of our stores. If you do want to use the date and time picker and you want to see how those work, um, check out the store pickup video where I talk about the store pickup, date picker, and time picker. Those same rules and ways of doing things will apply to setting those up for the delivery. So again, up here, I selected if the customer is in a set radius. And what I want to do is use miles instead of kilometers uh, for a US-based store. So I'm going to Save the changes here. Now the master settings are done. I'm going to go over to the locations. And I'm going to click on my Norwich location. And I'm going to click on the delivery section. Do I offer deliveries from this section? Yes, I do. Validation. I selected when customers within a set radius. So what is that radius? I'm going to do 20 miles of the store. Perfect. So anybody within 20 miles of the store, um, I'm going to allow. Save the changes. Awesome. Time slots. We have delivery time slots shut off, so we don't need those here. And we don't need offsets because we don't have people selecting days or times for delivery. They can just select to have it delivered. So for the basic delivery available over $49, save my changes. And if I go to the site and refresh my cart, You'll see that I still don't have the option because it's a minimum of $49 order. So what I'll need to do is order over $50 worth. So I'm going to update my cart. Now I'm ordering $60 worth, and now I have the local delivery option. I'm going to use a zip code that's within 20 miles of my store. And it says, great, you're eligible for delivery. And then I can choose to check out. Now when this is the option, we have delivery as free. There's no price associated with local delivery. So what we'll need to do is configure the local delivery rates if we do want to charge a price for local delivery. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video.